G'day guys, so it's day two. We spent all day yesterday pulling out this section of the garage and just jamming it in everywhere else. As you can see, it doesn't all fit, but we got all these racks sorted, put them all on the side there. But this is our, this is our machinery shed for, um, you know, all our mowers, tractors, uh, rangers, motorbikes, um, all, the, all the stuff we use, trailers, um so as you can see it's all sitting out at the moment all under cover and all um out in the open but uh rain last night so everything got wet i came up here at uh midnight and quickly threw some tarps over some stuff just to uh try and save it as best we could uh the plan was to try and get as much of this garage converted to be dog accommodation as possible but we've just got too much stuff um we use it all it's stuff that we use it's stuff that we uh use to maintain the property um so we've got these two bays here and we're just we pressure cleaned it yesterday we moved everything out now we're just putting a paint of coat uh, coat of paint on the walls and then we're going to seal the concrete and um Put a big wall in here, another wall on this side, uh, a couple of doors, so it'll all be, one bay will be one space for, for one dog. So they're quite big, quite luxurious uh, spaces. And we were gonna try and get the third one, but at this stage, we really need to um, build another shed to house all our machinery. Otherwise it'll just decay and, and go to waste. So the plan is to Level out this area here, which is the old chicken run. Level out this area, put a slab in, put another shed there for the machinery shed so we can park the van, the mower, uh, all the machinery um, and put it in there safe out of the weather. Uh, so we're continuing on today. We've got um, Jason doing a run to the hardware, to pick up some final stuff to start putting these walls in, hanging these doors and we're really excited to to make this nice and bright and neat and clean and something a little bit a little bit uh, more spacious than their temporary accommodation that they've had. So it's all full steam ahead here today. At the moment, it's not too bad. It says it's supposed to rain today, but hopefully the the rain stays away. We just kind of jammed everything in there as best we can to get it out of the rain. But these are the walls that Jason made up yesterday that we're putting in there to put the dividers up. Um, we'll continue working on them today after he gets back from the hardware. But as with everything on this uh, property, it all goes to the dogs. You know, we've got the tennis court, which is now the dog um, sports sports pool. Uh, our pool, which is turned to the dog's um, heated magnesium pool. We've got a, uh, a five bedroom house which four of those bedrooms are dedicated to dog accommodation. Um, you know, a family of five is all resorted back to one bedroom. And, uh, you know, that's what, what, we, what we do. We try and allocate as much space as possible. And now with these guys, um, while, while they're here with us on the farm with their rehabilitation, we'll deck out this garage. And, um, you know, like I said, as we wouldn't, get everything done anyway with that third bay for this week before we go back to work. So we'll get these two underway. We'll get some accommodation there. Yo-Yo's at a point now where um, he's most likely ready to come to the house. And, um, and then over the next couple of months, the plan will be to build a shed here to house everything, pull it all out and continue building these bays for uh for the dog so nice big spaces nice and comfortable we'll seal everything um, new walls um clean it all out new fresh coat of paint put some beds in there put some lounges in there uh put some lamps in there so we've got power and everything in this shed so this is one we want to use for the dogs we can put air conditioning in there we can put heating in there um whereas the shed we'll build for the machinery will just be an empty shell um, and it will just to be to protect everything that can't get wet and um, and degrade in the weather. So uh, day two, we'll keep you posted and uh, stay tuned. Right, I speak to you soon. It's a busy day for some.
So we've got an update on what it looks like in here. Nice white walls, just priming the concrete, ready to seal that. And we've got some walls to go up. We've already marked out our edge of the walls there. It's coming along. Hello, beautiful boy. Hello, beautiful boy. Yo, yo, stole my rag. <laughs> Didn't you, yo, yo? Didn't you? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Oh, good and great, guys. Eh? Oh, yeah, okay. Hello boy. Hello boy. Oh hello. Yeah. Oh Fredo. You want me to cuddle you like this? Hello mate. Hello boy. Hello boy. Oh thanks Fredo. Thanks mate. Oh. 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 Oh boy, brother. Oh boy, man. Oh, hi. 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 That's the colour there. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> look at hello. it. Hello. 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 Oh, hello. Oh, you two little yeah. cuties. That's nice. Hello. Hello. Good boys. Yo Yo's got the squishiest little lips. <laughs> Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Hello, mate. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, good boy, mate. Good boy, Fredo. Good boy, Fredo. Good boy. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Look at that face. Look at that face. He's a good boy, isn't he? He is. He's like a big bear. Hey. Right, back up. Right, back up. Yeah, hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Get in there, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Oh, hi, Bobby. <laughs>